posture is an important thing to develop correctly because posture will determine where the club hits the ground. If we have the right posture, the arms will find the ground, the arms in the club will find the ground much easier. So it's important to have the right posture to set your body in a good balanced position. There's two kinds of tilts we're going to have. We're going to have a tilt from this angle and then you're going to get, see behind me, we're going to have a tilt from the other angle. So first, the first, what I call spine tilt would be this way. We're going to take our spine and tilt the spine slightly to the right. What that does is it lowers my right side of my body. My right hip goes inside the right shoulder. Okay, that's called a spine tilt. Here's how I'd like to have my students get to that position. Is once it, after they address the ball, they come up this way, tilt the club, and their spine to the right slightly, and then place the club down by pushing their hips back, centered chest forward, and dropping the arms. So you'll notice there's a slight tilt of my shoulders with my right shoulder lower than my left. That's an important position to get into. One of the common errors I see people when they're setting up to the ball, an improper posture, an improper setup, would be where their shoulders get going the other way, where this shoulder would be higher than this one. What that does is it makes the student swing over the top and get too steep in their downswing and swing the club too much to the left. The other spine tilt we're talking about would be from this angle. It's important that we get the proper tilt this way because that's going to really determine where the club hits the ground. So it's important to get into a good spine tilt this way. We do that like this. We actually take our hips with the back nice and straight Good, studying good posture like we did in school with the books on our head. We're going to take our, our hips and place the hips back. Let the center of the chest come forward. You'll see that my knees actually lock. Then from that position, we're just going to crack our knees. We're not going to sit down on the knees too much because that makes the spine too straight. So the hips are going to go back. Center of the chest comes forward. Knees relax. And it puts the spine in a good angle so that when your arms drop, it drops the club to the ground. A good measuring point where your hand should fall about a hand's width away from the inside of your left leg. This really determines where the club hits the ground. I'm sure you've heard a thousand times if you're a new golfer and you play with friends, they're always telling you that you lifted your head up. Well, I'd like to tell you in my 30 years of teaching, I've never seen a student lift their head up. What I see a lot, though, is they actually lose their spine angle in their downswing. So it looks like the head is coming up, but in essence what it is is they lose their spine angle coming into the ball. So it's very important to keep the spine angle, get into a good spine angle and maintain that angle in the golf swing. So it's not the head that comes up, it's the spine angle or the spine tilt that we lose in the golf swing.